Hey there, I'm Mark from Spectrum Pulse, and today we have from Rami Midair. Yeah, I know, I'm way too late to this one. The long-awaited solo debut album from Rami Madley Croft, longtime member of the XX, who I've long held as one of the most subtly intense vocalists within her brand of house and indie pop. Not someone who necessarily needs to carry all the pounding bangers, but for the slinky, textured, slow burn moments, I think she's incredible. So with a solo project featuring fellow bandmate Jamie XX on a song, and Fred again producing over half the project, which I honestly think they could have played up more in the marketing given how huge Fred again has become in recent years. I saw him live this year, I get it. I was actually really excited to finally get around to this one. And yeah, met my expectations. This absolutely rules. Perhaps not as impeccably restrained, tasteful, and controlled as the XX would deliver, and the sequencing isn't quite as tight as I would prefer in the back half, which leads to two somewhat abortive transitional interludes and an ending that feels a little underwhelming for a project that I easily think could have run longer than its very brisk 34 minutes, but it also allows Rami to use her gently augmented but still gorgeous vocal presence to just yearn so powerfully against the pulsating piano-backed house, the throwback synth-heavy trance, and the occasional disco relic. Nothing that I would call revolutionary on a textural level, even if I would argue that Fred again is just a natural fit alongside Rami and nails that wistful swell for her impeccably for some Songs that feel huge but still intimate at the same time, but there's something in nailing the formula so damn effectively it's hard for me not to be impressed. From the shy, fluttery pianos and aching strings of Love Her to the airy pulses of Weightless, from that guitar line on the sea that sounds like the best song Emotional Oranges never cut, to the jagged yet soulful One Last Try and Enjoy Your Life. Then there's the lyrics. Okay, I would struggle to call them exceptional or even very distinctive, but I will say Rami adds some character to the lovelorn lesbian stories, the misconnections, and how many songs could well be just addressing herself as much as a partner, which alongside some pathos around her late mother, it really is effective. There's some emotional pull here. Overall though, pretty damn great album. I would struggle to put it among the top tier for me this year after a lot of listens the past month due to a few lingering structural issues that I'll care about more than most, but it's incredibly easy to like. It handily beats most expectations. Terrific dance album. Probably will be underrated in 2023. Absolutely worth checking out. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching. If you want to see more, please be sure to like and subscribe, drop some comments, share this around. Yes, I know I'm late to this, but I'm curious how folks are really vibing with it, because again, I think this is really great, and I think it's almost underrated. Beyond that, though, if you guys want to get projects on my schedule, link to my Patreons right over there. And as always, I'm Mark, you're watching Spectrum Pulse, and I'll see you next time.